All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about formation of ordinary differential equation. Let's take a look at this question. We are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to this function. Y is equal to A cos X plus 3. Now, X plus 3 in bracket. Okay, so we are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to this. Please pay attention. It's very simple. Now, we have been emphasizing on the principle of formation of differential equation. I would say that the principle holds good. That is, the number of arbitrary constant that is involved in a function determines the order of that differential equation. That is, how many arbitrary constant involved tells you how many times you are to differentiate that function in order to form the differential equation. If you have one arbitrary constant, that means you are to differentiate how many times? Once. If you have two, you differentiate two times. And if you don't have at all, you leave it that way. Okay, good. Now let's go. Carefully looking at this function we have now, y is equal to a cos x plus 3. How many arbitrary constants do we have? We only have one arbitrary constant, which is what? a. So we are going to try our possible best to remove this a. Okay, now let's go. The first thing we do is, let's call this equation, equation 1. And then let's differentiate for the first time. When we differentiate for the first time, differentiating y with respect to x is going to give us dy dx is equal to when we differentiate a cos x plus 3. You know, a is a constant, okay? So differentiating this, what are we going to have? We're going to have minus a sine x plus 3. You get this, right? So when we differentiate cos x plus 3, it's going to give us minus sine x plus 3. So multiply by the constant, which is a. So therefore, we have minus a sine x plus 3. You get this, right? Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's go back to equation 1. You know, we are only to differentiate once because we only have one arbitrary constant. Okay? Now, going back to equation 1, what do we have? In equation 1, we say that y is equal to a cos x plus 3. In this place, can we make a the subject? Yes, I think we can. Now, let's go. Let's go ahead and make a the subject. So, for us to make a the subject, that means we divide both sides by cos x plus 3. Then a will stand alone. So, if we are to do so, we are going to have y is equal to a cos x plus 3 all over cos x plus 3 and then in the side of y we say all over cos x plus 3 okay so in the side of a cos x plus 3 we cancel cos x plus 3 they will have a remaining in our right hand side and then in our left hand side we have y all over cos x plus 3 permit us to call this equation 3 okay now, we have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Carefully studying these three equations, we can see that we can substitute equation 3 into equation 2 because we used equation 1 to form this equation 3. Okay? So we substitute it into the next equation, which is equation 2. Alright? So what do we have in our equation 2? Equation 2 says dy dx is equal to minus a sine x plus 3. Now let's put minus by the side, put sine x plus 3 by the side. In place of a, we plug in the value y all over cos x plus 3. In doing so, we are going to have dy dx is equal to minus open bracket y all over cos x plus 3. Close the bracket, multiply by sine x plus 3. 
Is it true? Yes. Now let's go. So if we open this bracket or if you multiply everything now, we are going to have dy dx is equal to minus y sine x plus 3 all over cos x plus 3. Is it true? Yes. Now let's like bring out minus y. That means we are going to have dy dx is equal to minus y in bracket sine x plus 3 all over cos x plus 3. You remember that sine all over cos is equal to what? Tan. So permit us to say let tan x plus 3 be equal to sine x plus 3 all over cos x plus 3. So in the place of this sine x plus 3 all over cos x plus 3, let's replace it with what? Tan x plus 3 because it's actually the same. Okay? So if we do so, we are going to have dy dx is equal to minus y tan x plus 3. We can rearrange by taking the terms to one side. So doing so, we are going to have dy dx plus y tan x plus 3 is equal to 0. Hello? So here we see dy dx plus y tan x plus 3 is equal to zero so therefore this is the differential equation corresponding to the equation y is equal to a cos x plus three all right yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new to our youtube channel this is sug math tutorial please do well to subscribe like the video and share stay blessed thank you